Hi gang! In this video, we're going to take this flat and turn it into a shearling jacket by making a shearling brush. This is what shearling looks like, and we are going to make a brush to emulate this so that we can change the look of the flat. To do this, let's zoom in close. We are going to grab the pen tool and draw a path with the pen tool. We're going to make sure that this is a one point black stroke with no fill. So we're going to get rid of the fill. I'm going to go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, Roughen. And this is where we're going to turn this into shearling. We're going to set this to relative and we're going to change this to 3%. We're going to go down to points and set it to smooth, and then we're going to slide the detail slider. But let's turn on preview first, and we're going to slide up the detail slider until we like the balance. And we just want to get this sort of rough texture on the edges. Let's try 2%. 3 seems a little bit high. That's better. Shearling is a pretty low pile fabric, so we don't want it to be too rough. I think this will work, so let's just change it. I always prefer it to be an odd number, so I'm going to change this to 65 and click OK. Now we need to expand this before we can use it, because right now it is a path with an effect on it rather than a lumpy path. So we're going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance, and now it is a lumpy path with a bunch of anchor points. We're going to grab the two end anchor points with the white arrow. So we're going to grab one on this end, hold the shift key and grab the one on the far end. And we are going to go to the align panel and align them center. That way they're going to line up when we make a repeat brush. We need to do one more thing to this brush and that is to make sure that the caps on this so back to the stroke panel, we want to make sure that the caps are this one right here, the flat caps, but we want the corners to be rounded, so we're going to keep that setting. And now we're ready to turn this into a brush. I'm going to open the brushes panel. I'm going to click New, and we're going to make this a pattern brush. Click OK. Now, before we click OK again, let's name this. And we're going to make sure that we set the corners. So we're going to drop down on this first one and decide whether we prefer auto centered or auto in between. I like auto in between. And we're going to do the same for this corner and auto in between. That's all we need to do. Click OK. And we have created our brush. So let's go ahead and turn this flat into shearling. I'm going to use the group selection tool so I don't have to ungroup my flat and I'm going to select the pieces that I need and apply my shirling brush. And we've got a few more pieces to do. I need these seams, I need this seam, and these little pieces here. And we'll click on the shirling brush. And lastly, the back of my neckline here, let's click on shirling. And there you go, we have just created a shirling flat. Now, it just so happens that I have a lovely fill I created. Whoops, Control Z, I just move that out of the way a little bit. You want to be careful when you're selecting things not to nudge them out of line. But we're going to go select this, and it just so happens that I have a pattern fill that I created. So we're going to fill this, and now we have got our lovely shirling coat flat. Let's make this a contrasting leather pocket. And there you go. If you found this useful, you can support my channel with a like and please subscribe. 